14, it is the hot item on many baby registries with so many parents swearing by the snoo. Mm -hmm. But it can be tricky transitioning your baby out of the smart sleeping device into a crib. Yeah, and on top of all that, it's expensive. News 4's Dorian Gensler shares four tips from a local sleep consultant to help parents cope. Some parents are calling the snoo a must-have for newborn babies. It was developed by Dr. Harvey Karp as an additional way to help soothe your baby. The smart sleeper bassinet is designed for babies up to six months old. It automatically responds to a child's fussing with soothing sounds and motion, helping to calm a baby's cries without any assistance from mom or dad. But some say it works so well they had trouble transitioning their baby into a crib. And that's where Dr. Kelsey Alford comes in. She's a local sleep consultant and the owner of Nested Sleep. You want to transition before a baby gets so used to it and so comforted by it that it's hard to get out of that. And that happy window, I think, is more like three to four months versus waiting until that full six months of time period. Dr. Alford tells her clients to start with subtle changes to their baby's sleep routine. I start with the first nap of the day. Because the first nap of the day, baby is not overtired yet. They're not overstimulated from the day. And it's a good time to practice those sleep skills. She also encourages parents to stop swaddling their baby during that time to help them develop their own independent sleep skills. And remember, your baby doesn't have to move into the nursery right away. A lot of parents think that it's just the snoo or it's just the baby sleeping in the nursery. They absolutely can sleep in a pack and play for a period of time within the parent's room. And that allows them in a bigger sleep space, allows them to roll around, get used to their new environment. No matter what parents decide, she says it's important to come up with a plan before switching out of the snoo. You're not going to want to jump into making a game plan at 1 a.m. because you're both exhausted. You're both like, I just need this baby to get to sleep. That can be just talking as, as parents and coming up with that game plan. That can be reading some books or that can be working with a sleep consultant. There's many different options. And according to the company, babies using a snoo often sleep for nine hours or more. By the time they're two to three months old, this is why parents are paying so much. The device costs $1,700. Parents say it is worth the investment. You can find them used online, and there's also an option to rent one for a few months. I remember those early days. You'd almost pay anything to get your baby to sleep for a few hours. Yeah. Nine hours is a long time. Yes, I can imagine.